I'm going to start the ship tour with a tour of our cabin. We are staying in room 881, which is an aft facing cabin. It's the first time we've ever stayed in the rear of the ship. When we open the door, we go into the hallway, and to the right, we have the bathroom. The bathroom is well appointed, uh, everything you expect, but do note that since this is an older ship, they only have a single vanity. There's a full bath, Gurlane toiletries, I think they're called, and Le Acetane toiletries on the right. Of course, there's a toilet and a full shower. There's a large walk-in closet. There are many drawers where you can place your belongings, but not as many as we had on Splendor, of course. Coming into the bedroom, there is a very nice, soft king bed, a vanity, and more drawers and bedside tables on each side. In the living area, there's a couch, a table, bar set up, TV, about a 40 inch TV, and a mini bar, which of course you can have set up to your liking. There's also an espresso machine, but we haven't used that yet. Since this is a rear facing cabin, there is quite a large balcony and we have been out here just about every day. So let's start our tour on deck 12. This is the jogging track. They have shovelboard quartz, which do look a little worse for wear. A croquet quart. A very small putt-putt course. On the other side, there is another shuffleboard court. On the rear of the ship on deck 12, there is a pickleball paddleball court. And on deck 12, you overlook the pool area. You can see the small pool and the two hot tubs. On deck 11, there is the pool grill, where they have an assortment of foods, uh, usually from 11 to four o'clock, and they'll make your burgers, your hot dogs, and they'll usually have a couple of specialty items every day. Just beside the pool grill, there is another snack station with a self-serve coffee machine. La Veranda is a buffet in the morning and for lunch, 
and then it turns into Sede Mare, the Italian restaurant, for dinner. There is also a nice outdoor seating area, rather small, but we have used that several times during this cruise. Just past veranda, as you enter the pool deck, there's the ice cream and milkshake station. Forward in Deck 11 is the Observation Lounge. Late at night, there is a piano player and it's a nice place to have some drinks and relax. Decks 7 through 10 are all suites, but deck 6 has the spa and fitness center. Hello. Fitness rooms. 
And something I only managed to do once so far on the screws is hit the fitness rod. Treadmills, bicycles, ellipticals. Weight machines. And some free weights. Of course, they have Gatorade. Free of charge. Uh, water, they want you to use your filling up water bottles from your room. And the treatment rooms for massages, facials, etc. Just outside the spa is the library. You borrow what books you want and you bring them back at your leisure. On deck five, you have the coffee connection where they always have an assortment of snacks, sweets, and fruits, and deli meats available, along with self-serve coffee machines. But they also have a station where they'll make your favorite coffee beverage. Also forward on deck five is the Constellation Theater. All right, this is the Constellation Theater. Before the show starts, I want to get a video of the theater. Good, and you? I'm good, thank you. And you can have drinks served? For sure, why not? <laughs> Hi. Restaurant reservations? Glenn? I recognize you. Destination services and reception are all forward on deck five. As we proceed to the rear of deck five, we have the general manager and the future cruise consultant. It's the computer club. There are numerous shops on board, jewelry shop, more assorted items, jewelry, makeup, perfume. as well as uh, clothing items. Going towards the aft on deck five, there's the Prime 7 restaurant, which is their steakhouse. And inside the Horizon Lounge, you have Chartreuse, the French restaurant. This is the Horizon Lounge, where they'll have entertainment at night, as well as afternoon tea, trivia, and a few other activities. In the rear of Deck 4, there is Compass Rose. Compass Rose is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's the no reservation dining venue. Uh, 
on other ships, it would be called the main dining room. Deck 4, there's the casino, which, like most ships, is only open when they leave the port. Opposite that is the Voyager Lounge, where they will usually have music and dancing at night. On deck four, you also have the card room. And the connoisseur club for people who smoke cigarettes or cigars or want to have some, and want to have some brandy or cognac. And that is it for my that is it for my tour of the Region Seven Seas Voyager. If there is anything else you'd like to see, drop me a note. Hopefully, I will still be on board and this tour is published, and I'll take a better look at anything that you'd like to see more of. See you next time.